all right what's good iso gang man we are back here once again man and I'll, i'm very excited to be inside of the next matchup as y'all know we're turning back to the winner's bracket and we are going with fairy tale not fairy tale my bad that was the last video we're coming here with seven daily sins against bleach as y'all know both of these teams are very very insane having a new addition if you guys aren't in the discord make sure to join the discord down below because it is very lit in there we talk about the tournament every single day but besides that i put in the discord down below um jugram is now on the bleach team jugram is somebody from the thousand year blow war which is going to be very very exciting to see him here the stern riddles are starting to take over but they're going against the seven deadly sins team which is not something you guys want to underestimate definitely a strong team this is going to be their first fight inside of the tournament so y'all let me know down below if y'all enjoy this man i feel like it's definitely gonna be a very very fire episode man but other than that shit, let's get into the matchups Now we have Odahara, Jugram, and Biaki. As I know, as I said, Jugram is a new person to the Bleach team, and it's gonna be nice to see what he can do. But I know that um, we're gonna see what we're gonna have to see what Odahara can do against Merlin early on in this fight. Obviously, as we know, um, Odahara is not one to be played with if he pops his moves. But Merlin's extremely strong as well. She's somebody we haven't seen in the tournament at all yet. She starts it off by popping ultimate attack, doing some uh some nice damage against uh my boy Odohara, or hard transforming into his shikai state now into his bankai state getting his health back up fully and um okay combo merlin up a little bit i'm not gonna lie he's catching keeping merlin in that corner which is definitely what you're gonna want to do in these type of fights okay she's combo Odohara as well okay she's comboing him up a little bit not combo but she's popping some pretty good attacks here we go. We got Odohara now popping some attacks as well. She has full bar. She definitely want to use her ultimate attack here because if not, she looks like she might end up dying. I'm not gonna lie. She looks like she might end up dying. Okay. Now we have my boy King stepping on the scene and then Mael to take over as well. Mael takes over instead of my boy King. We know Mael has a lot of combos. Definitely an extremely strong combo character. But, um, holy shit shit okay we got jugram with jugram's is nice i'm not gonna lie that's a tough ass assist that full aoe map type of assist but at the same time okay now we have her coming out using the beginning of her ultimate attack as an assist but not the full thing which is a little weird okay my boy odahar is putting in a lot of work but i'm not gonna lie i was about to say <laughs> yeah uh when when this boy gets started mile when he starts getting right with his attacks when he starts getting started with his combos he he finishes the job. I'm not gonna lie. He, he he gets it done. So I think Odahara might be dead here. But um who knows? Okay, we got Jugram popping something here, pulling out his shield. And okay, yeah, there we go. We got Jugram popping something here. I'm pretty sure this is where he like reverses all the damage that he gets, or he reverses some of the damage he gets and he puts it on anybody else around. Yeah, King and Mael took the damage that he that were used against him. And now we have Jugram going into his ultimate almighty mode early. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely tough because um <laughs> this is one hell of a showcase for somebody who just came out. My boy just came out, he just hopped on the team, and he's already going crazy. He took a good amount of damage from um whoever was hitting him just now. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, Biaki is putting some damage. I mean, not Mael's doing some damage to Jugram, but Jugram is going off in his showcase. He's definitely putting in work. As y'all see, he's definitely hittable and he takes a lot of damage. So Jugram's definitely not a god. But he's he's going off with the combos right now. I can't lie. He's going off on the team right now. Okay, he goes right back into his almighty form again. This nigga is not playing any games. Okay. Will it be enough to get the job done though? Okay, we got King going into his ultimate attack. He misses it on my boy uh, Jugram here, though. As y'all know, the Almighty basically just makes him faster. He does more damage. He doesn't get no auto dodge. He doesn't get any health back. So y'all don't have to worry about him, like, you know, being broken or doing certain things that he shouldn't be able to do here. But um, I'm not gonna lie. He's blending my boy King down. And yeah, King falls there. For some reason, King wasn't popping his, his ultimate, his transformation. It looked like he did try to at the end. But it is too late now. It is one zero. All right. Will they close the video out early? Will Bleach be able to end it very, very early? We have As Not, Okiora, and you watch the second team. And I'm not glad they're extremely strong second team. They're going against Zeldris, Escanor, and um, 
I don't even remember who the last person is. I'm not even gonna lie, but we're gonna see what... Oh, yeah, my boy Estorosa. So we're gonna see some definitely tough here. Some definitely some strong attacks. Off rip, we got my boy Asnot getting some nice little combos in. So well as well as Zelda's. I'm not gonna lie, Zelda's doing way better for a beginning than I thought. Um, is Smooth supposed to pull people in? I was about to say, yeah. I was about to say, I remember in the show pulling people in. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Zelda's and, and Asnot are having a good match, but Zelda's low-key has the advantage here right now. Okay. I hear something going on with my boy Asnot. He's making weird noises and talking and shit. We know that he has many forms and many different things that he can add to his kit. Okay, now he's pulling out my boy Byakuya's Bankai. Oh, and Escanor has to get hit with that flood, which didn't really do too much damage. We know Escanor has some of the highest defense in the tourney, which is extremely strong. It, it's, it's, it's over time, though. It's one of those overtime things. As y'all know, the longer that he's out and the more fire that becomes on him, the higher damage and the more uh the more time he gets. But um once he gets into his the one state, it's gonna get very dangerous for the full bleach team. That's one of the strongest people in the tournament. Le Escanor, when he gets more and more like fire around him. Like I said, the more orange he gets, the more he gets closer to the one. And he gets more tanky, more damage, and it's just extremely dangerous. Like I said, Escanor is always going to be one of the hardest people to beat inside of this tournament. And Escanor is showing why right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And we know his the one state doesn't last very long because he does have hyper armor and he does have high damage. But like I said, he doesn't... um. It doesn't last that long. It's not extremely long, but while he's in it, he's extremely hard to beat. Okay, we got Okior going into his second release state, but it doesn't even matter. Escanor is just dominating the entire Bleach team right now. Bleach is extremely strong, but Escanor is just extremely strong as well. I don't know if he can go into the one multiple times a match, but if he can, he's about to do it. I'm not gonna lie. He's getting extreme amounts of time. He's holding people in the corner, and it's crazy because it's the same exact Escanor with no changes from the last tournament, and um, it's seeing him do this to the Bleach team, it just shows that he has bad potential. I'm not gonna lie, he's very extremely strong. He can definitely do a lot of different, you know, dangerous things to both these teams, but um, he just needs the time to do it. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, I was about to say, for a second, it looked like he, he started getting some health back from my boy uh, Yowatch's hits, so I definitely gotta look into that, but um, it doesn't even look like it matters. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we got Yowatch going into his final state here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely okay. Yeah, your watch is going into his invulnerable state, the strongest state he has. But like I said, y'all know he does lose mad mass amounts of health when he pops this state, but he is very strong. Okay, I was about to say, it looks like uh, I'm pretty sure Asnot didn't transform yet neither. So if Asnot can get his mode off, then um, it will definitely be useful because it looks like my boy, your watch is gonna clear at El Zell just off the map. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Your watch looks like he might be clearing Zeldris off the map. Okay, Zeldris. I'm not gonna lie. Zeldris is doing extremely good for somebody with no transformation, somebody with no mode. He's definitely not doing bad at all. But okay, there we go. We got my boy Your Watch falling. Now we have the final person, my boy Asnot. Can Asnot get it done? Okay, Asnot's transforming. Let's see what what, what, what we finna do. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This thing is going crazy on this transformation right here. What can As not do? As you know, every time As not steps on the field, it's a movie. So we finna see what he can do. As y'all see, Zeldris is stuck right here. He's a little scared, and this finna start getting crazy. As not's a monster in this state. He's not a god, but he definitely is a lot harder to beat than most characters in this state. Now we have Escanor stepping on the scene, and he's shredding Escanor's health. Okay, as y'all see, like I said, Escanor definitely isn't no tanky god. He just gets more and more tanky the more time you give him when you get closer into the one. But, um, Asnot is getting with him right now. Oh, this might kill, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's a dangerous one to get hit with when you're low health. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Asnot's tweaking out again. <laughs> that boy Asnot be going crazy with the cutscenes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I like him, though. I like him. I gotta understand what's going on here, bro. I'm not gonna lie. He looks like he should be the final boss of Bleach. The way he be tweaking out and shit. <laughs> but, nah, it definitely is. Uh, We see Escanor getting a little bit more orange, which is a little dangerous because that's, you know, he's getting closer to the one state. Um, Actually, never mind. No, he's not. I was about to say, because I, I don't... Oh, my God. So, that is a one shot. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, my God. That move did insane amounts of damage. But... Esterosa ends it off by taking his soul. It is 1-1. We're going to get into the next match and see what goes down. All right, let's get into the final match. It is 1-1, and I'm excited to see where this goes because, like I said, Bleach and 
the Seven Deadly Sins team have both been doing good. I'm not gonna lie, Seven Deadly Sins is doing a lot better than I expected them to do here. But will they be able to close out? Obviously, because we know Bleach is an extremely strong team. As y'all know, with the new tournament series, all the old tournaments don't even count anymore. Nobody has a ring. This is the first tournament, basically, like I said, on the brand new channel. So we're going to see who's getting the first ring out of this entire tournament. We got my boy Ichigo coming out, attacking inside of Aizen's stun. And, um... Okay. Okay, some nice little attacks here. And, oh my god, yo, Bleach... Yo, it's dominating against Derriere, at least. To start out this fight, it's not looking too good for 7 Deadly Sins. That's one thing. Bleach's final team, this strongest three, is definitely a dangerous little team. Just because Ichigo is very strong, as well as, obviously, um, my boy Aizen and Rukia. Okay, Derriere getting some combos in now, doing some nice moves. Okay. Oh, and that's one thing. We've seen Meliodas go crazy in many videos off his counter. And, yo, Derriere does nice damage. I'm not gonna lie. Pushing Ichigo this far, at least, is dangerous. Okay. Ichigo getting some combos off here. I'm not going to lie. Bleach is winning, but they're low-key losing because their strongest person already is at half health, which is very dangerous. Okay, nah, nah, nah. Maybe they're winning. Now, maybe they're winning because Ichigo is going off right now. He's putting in lots of work, and we know Aizen's still in the background, ready to go off at any second, any moment, any time. Y'all know Aizen's a dangerous monster. Okay. Ichigo going off a little bit with some combos. And let me know down below, what team are y'all rooting for in this entire tournament, man? I, I have a lot of teams I like. I don't know uh, specifically which one I might be going for. But, yeah, like I said, I have a lot of teams that I do like. Okay. Damn. Some combos. Okay, now we got Ichigo going into his, his final state here. Ichigo will be dead soon. But we'll see what he can do, obviously, in this state before he dies fully. He's shredding down Bond pretty nicely. But not enough that it's, like, extremely dangerous. As y'all know, like I said, I don't know... If I don't know. He's not doing insane amounts of damage. He's doing nice damage, but um, he's not murdering Bond, which is kind of dangerous for the Bleach team because then Aizen's going to have to carry. But, um, okay, now he's kind of murdering Meliodas, which is going to help the team a little bit. Um, there we go. We got Ichigo going into the background. This is what we used to know, the uh, the Byakuya Ichigo assist demon. But now Rukia gets to use it uh, to an extent. Oh, yeah, no, we fixed this all. So, Aizen doesn't attack when Ichigo's in the background as much anymore. Every once in a while, he might, but not consecutively. But now we have Rukia coming out here. See what Rukia can do for the Bleach team. She's definitely going to be needed in this fight. I'm not going to lie. She's definitely going to be needed to put in some work. Okay. Her and Bond kind of getting into a little bit of a, a, little bit, a, a calm start of the fight. Okay. Okay, she gets hit by the Meliodas counter ultimate. That's going to do some nice damage. Meliodas, I'm not going to lie, that's a close-ass third round. Bleach and Seven Deadly Sins, either one of them could fall here pretty damn easily. Okay, this nigga's like infinite combo in the corner. Okay, we got Rukia finally going into her mode here, and we're going to see what it can do. Okay. Okay, we got her using her Bankai ultimate, we're gonna, and it did some pretty nice damage. Nice little AoE. We got Meliodas going into his first transformation here. And uh, Rukia definitely did turn it around a little bit. I kind of that definitely helped them because Bleach was kind of getting slammed. Aizen's at full health. Aizen is gonna have. I'm not gonna lie. They're gonna have to do a lot to take Aizen completely down because he's definitely not gonna be somebody to beat. Easy to beat. He hasn't even transformed yet, as y'all see. And Aizen is just going off. Yeah, Aizen's just shredding right now. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's carrying right now. I'm not gonna lie. Ichigo definitely did put in his work. Rukia also put in, you know, her ultimate attacks. She's stunning a lot as an assist, but I don't see anybody taking this boy Aizen down here. Yeah, he drops the full team of three with his counters and damn near at full health. The Bleach team takes it and walks away. I hope you all enjoyed it and we out of here.